Hello, everyone. This is Dave, and what say we play some Dark Souls 3, the long-awaited concluding chapter in what is now, I guess we have to call the Souls Trilogy, and uh, purportedly the last game our director, Hidetaki Miyazaki, plans to make in this particular franchise, vein, series... Not exactly sure what to call it, and I'm not exactly sure how much I can trust Miyazaki-san's declarations that this will be the swan song. I sincerely doubt Namco Bandai wants to let a cash cow like this go, but that's neither here nor there. We've still got this to get through, so let's start this motherfucker up, and once again, as with the Bloodborne, uh, this will be a completely blind playthrough. Uh, managed to see even less uh, of this game than I saw of the previous one you watched me suffer through on this channel. But just like with Bloodborne, we're going to go in with this as blind as we can be and see what we can see, see what pops into my head as we explore the awe and mystery that stretches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. And right away, that music. Ah, uh, nothing like a good choir to start things off. Singing... I can't tell what they're singing, but I'm pretty sure it sounds like a lament. And right away, I'm gonna have to look up who did the music on this, see how much connection they had to the Bloodborne team. Or how much connection anybody had to the Bloodborne team. I'd heard that from software split itself into two work on Bloodborne and this at the same time. Blah de blah de blah. Uh, can't scroll down. There we go. Except. Two patches are currently available online, and you may confirm below version numbers. Upper left corner. Yeah, blah de blah de blah, blah de blah de blah. Okay. Yes, so, not to do, but press new game and see what hap- wait, system, on, or yes, manual attack, aiming, what does that mean? Who knows? L3, fuck that, yeah, okay, and, ooh, reversed, wait, x-axis normal, y-axis reversed. Reset Y axis, what does that mean? Cinematic effects, whatever that means, okay. Blood, yes. Subtitles, sure. HUD, yes. Music, sound effects, voice, deal with that later. Brightness, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, cross region play. Yeah, sure, why not? In enemy phantom worlds. Yes, sure. Totally restricted. Character name. Yeah, okay. Okay. And okay. Yeah. So, with that, let's go with it. Oh, again? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I didn't need to do that. It's just happened. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothri. Yeah, looks like a great place. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. Oh, I see. Ah, yes. In venturing north. First trail. Which is all I've seen. Pilgrims discover the truth. The old words. The fire fades. Ah, those old words. And the lords go without thrones. Ugh. Well, maybe if you weren't hauling all that shit around on your back. It's like a turtle shell covered in chains. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls. 
I sh probably shouldn't ask who it's an tools for. The old lords of Cinder from their graves. Ah. Lords of Cinder being all the old church. Saint of the Deep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks ugly. Not looking too good, Aldrich. Farron's undead legion, the Abyss Watchers. Ah, as opposed to the Abyss Walker, who fell to the hand of an unknown and unsung hero long ago. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Yom the Giant. Hi, Yorm. So that's your name. We're gonna wind up fighting you sooner or later, I'm sure. Yes, Lords of Cinder. Only in truth? Oh, was that all lies? The lords will abandon their thrones. Ah. And the unkindled will rise. Unkindled? Not the undead, but the unkindled. Oh, the bonfire. Nameless, accursed undead. Unfit even to be cinder. Huh. That's what you think. And so it is. That ash seeketh embers. Ooh, hey, that rhymes. I don't know, lady. You gotta work on your raps. Your rhymes... You're okay. You really gotta stay on beat, though. Ah! Here we go. Right to character creation. Very good. So, uh, let's do... Yes. Let us do this. Carry Bloodstein. Raids again. Let's see how much space we have. Ooh. Not enough. So, what do we do? We cheat. If only I could do the umlaut. There we go. Yeah, basic black is fine. And then it should be... Oh, and we can save to favorites. Yes, just in case we completely fuck up the recording on this. And, wow, that was 15 minutes. No problem. So, yes, this is it. here we have Carrie Bloodstein 2.0, and we are about to raid again. So, let's finalize this. Yes. And let's get into it. Well, that only took 20 minutes. Oh, loading times. <laughs> I really shouldn't ask, but I really have to. Who the hell is that bell tolling for? <laughs> oh, we wake up in our own grave. How nice. Dark Souls. One, you woke up in a jail cell. Dark Souls 2, you woke up at the bottom of a swirling vortex you jumped into. And this time we're just cutting right to the fucking chase. Yep, Cemetery of Ash. Yeah, looks like somebody really... Yes, oh yes. Hey everybody, it's Yarnum. Except the sun's out, so no, it can't be Yarnum. Cemetery of Ash. Okay, so time to fuck around with some controls. Ugh. Yes, that still does the same thing. Yep. Okay. The 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 the. Oops, shouldn't do that. Four. 
Back step, yes. Back step R2. What? No back step R2. There we go. Big overhead. Yeah. And can we... No, we can't, but that's fine. Shield. Parry. Yes. Alrighty. Right. Got it. Tutorial section. Oh, the tutorial sections in these games. They're always the start of something interesting and special. They're always meant to lull you into that false sense of security, especially for those of us. Ooh, do I have... No. Wait. Ah, there it is. Okay. First of all. Get rid of that. Put that over there. And let's read some item descriptions. Crude hand axe serves both as weapon and tool. By many uses, favored by pyromancers of the Great Swamp, this axe has a short range and only moderate weight and reasonable damage. Easily wielded and more powerful than it appears. Let out a spirited war cry that temporarily boosts attack. Interesting. Catalyst used by pyromancers. Yes, must be attuned to bonfire. Creates powerful flame in the wielder's hand. One of the most basic pyromancies, and for this very reason, the flame created is fierce. Catechus Round Shield. Decorated with twin snakes, ancient symbol of the Great Swamp. Wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. Okay, so... Okay, we do have... Yes, weight ratio. We have an equip load again. Gonna have to... Yeah, deal with that. And let's see. Explanation. There we go. Vigor. Governs HP and resistance to frost. That's the thing now. Interesting. Okay. Governing, yes, FP also determines number of attunement slots, endurance, we know, vitality. Governing physical defense, although it's also affected by other attributes. Governs maximum equip load and poison resistance. Okay, sure would have been nice to know that. Strength, dex, intelligence, faith, luck, we all know. Yeah, same. Movement slows as load increases. Exceed the rightmost number and movement slows dramatically. Okay, so... Vitality, physical defense, resistance to lightning and bleeding, huh. Okay, we get our vit up, we get our maximum equipment load. Sure would have liked to know that ahead of time, but we'll deal with it. Poise, and we have poise again, okay. And let's see what else we got there, pyromancer crown. Entire pyromancers of the Great Swamp comprised of a leather cr crown with animal bones. In the Great Swamp, it was thought that adorning oneself with natural fauna would provide protection from the flames of pyromancy. Guess that was wrong. Now I've got to go into this screen. Yeah. Bla bronze ornamentation and animal pelts. Bronze was used ritualistically to ward off evil spirits and keep darkness at bay. I'm sure that worked out quite well for you guys. And that's just leather wrapping on our arms. Cloth trousers wound tightly with leather and fitted with denim slip-toed shoes. Hey! Or, with dermis slip-toed shoes. What the hell is dermis? Like in epidermis, life of a pyromancer is a life of endless trudging through marshland. Yes. Generations old. Hey! It's the small life ring. Yay! Rings have unique powers, and their discovery will do much to ease a wearisome journey. Now, what's this? Ring said to be chiseled from the bone of a flame salamander by blighted pyromancers living in the Great Swamp. Believe that salamanders are the descendants of demons born of the chaos flame from which pyromancy is also said to have originated. Got to appreciate that little continuity there. And we get three Estus flasks to start with. Okay, that's new. And, ah, and we set our jump, yes, where it belongs. Continuity is nice, yes. Well, this is nice and brightly lit for a Dark Souls area. Hello, friend. Oh, I can target you. Yeah. Whoa, hello. One shot, one kill. What even are you, though? Jeez, you look like... Uh-huh. Look like the Snatchers of Yarnum. 
Um, I imagine you're just another poor blighted soul. Yes, I noticed. Yes. Okay. So we're in the cemetery, and that looks like a castle. Of a deserted corpse. Aren't they all deserted? Let's... Ah. Used to acquire souls. Let the Firekeeper transform this sovereignless soul into a source of strength. For to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. I see. Got no keys except fireball. Yeah. Okay. Checked everything, didn't we? Yes. Status. Here's all our stuff. Okay. Message. Can't do that yet. System. Okay. So. Already. We see what I hoped to see, really, which is that this is a combination of the best bits of Dark Souls 1 and 2. Damn. Damn, homie. Think you can rush me? Not anymore. Carry Bloodstein in your hood. Ashen. Estus Flask. Undead treasure. These dull ashen flasks. Filled with Estus at bonfires and drink to restore FP. Fuck, fuck you points. Quite befitting of an unkindled, an ashen Estus flask turns a bonfire's heat cold. I see, because we have a magic bar again. So, do we use that up doing this? Yes, we do. Interesting. Okay. To stop us from spamming our pyromancies. Very smart, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if I haven't figured that out by now, I'm probably in a bad way. Ah, hello. So how slow... Wait. Yeah. How slow do we have to be to get off our backstab? Well, no matter how slow we are, this guy's probably easy. Yeah. He's there to teach us how to backstab. Assuming we've never played one of these games before. Though if you've never played one of these games before and you're starting out here with me, then welcome! Do we have gestures? Yes, we have gestures. Uh, point down, wave. Jump for joy. Yes! And regular joy. Yeah! Fist bumps. That's right. Okay. And that's all we get for now. Oh, wait. Where's our... There it is. Yes. Then welcome. Yes. If you've never played one of these games before, welcome to Dark Souls 3. We are going to have some fun. Whoa. Two at once, huh? Whoa. Hello. Let's try that again. Oh, nope. Fucked it up. There we are. Ugh. Yeah. Fading soul. There. Used to gain a smattering of souls. Just a smattering. Just a taste. Blah, 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 blah. For the unkindled. For to be unkindled is to be a vessel of souls. Okay, so there's that way. And there's another guy this way. Let's just see if we can sneak up behind his ass, too. And wait, 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 wait. Anybody else? Okay. Playing Bloodborne makes me real suspicious of these graveyards. Yay! And the parry window is back to where it should be. None of this, you know, use... Oh, well, two-handed. Use right weapon skills. That's how it works. Yes. Okay. So, two-hand your weapon. Use your skills. What did that... Did that take anything down? No, but it gave me something. Uh, gave me something up. What did it give me? Status. Oops. Too late. Gone. Well, one thing is gone. What's the other thing? 
And yeah, still, yeah, still a bit. Still a bit obtuse with their control schemes, but... Ah, this isn't a 100% block shield, is it? Nope. Uh-huh. Physical 52. Oi. Yeah, okay. So, first things first. We gotta get ourselves a better shield. Oh, okay. So... Ugh. Yeah, okay. Yes. We know, we know, we know. So, that was a big loop. We can go that way. It looks, yeah, suspiciously like the way out. So, first, let's turn around and go this way. I like this, though. This is a nice combination of the starting area of uh, Demon Souls and... Oh, any given area in Bloodborne. Turn back! Are you fucking serious? Tell me to turn back right here at the starting area. Yay, and the and the blood stains are still red. Oh, he's dead. Turn back. Turn back or what? Oh hell. Oh hell. Oh hell and blast. I think I know or what. Whoa. The fuck is that? Made out of crystal, whatever it is. Um but he hasn't aggroed yet, so let's see if no, there's nothing over here there's something right over there though oh, uh, do I go for it? oh shit, too late now soul of an unknown traveler check that out later, now we gotta run I'm gonna run don't know what that was ah, a crystal Shit! Whoa! Crystal monstrosity. Gotta break his line of sight. Get the fuck up out of here. Still coming? Okay. <laughs> oh. oh shit! God damn it, Seath. God damn you and your monstrous crystal creations. Is that the end of his range? Let's just break line of sight. And make sure. God damn you. Okay. Whew. Not sure what the fuck that is. But we're going to have to remember. He's here in the cemetery. And we're going to go back and fight him. When we're a few dozen levels. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. We're level 8. We'll go back and fight him when we're like level 16. Or 32 or something. But for now... Quite the vista we got here. And whose castle is this, huh? Can't even get a good angle on it. It's so high above my head. Yes. Yes, bonfire. First bonfire. Boys and girls. Ha. Ah. Rest. Oh, and we got a gesture for that. That's great. Nothing else we can do yet, so let's just leave. And there it is. Holy shit. Ooh, and is the giant bird going to grab us if we stand here and wait long enough? No? Okay. And what killed you, sucker? Nice hat. Uh, was it you? Did you kill him? Seriously? Yeah, let's try this. Still one shot, one kill. That was probably a waste of magic, but meh. It worked out. Oh, two of you.
There we go. Ah, hello, sir. Oh, wait. I hear footsteps. Were those yours? Is that you? You the only one around here? Nope. Hey, buddy. How badass is our pyromancy? Ooh, pretty badass. I like it. Okay. So this is the land of Lothric. Where... Apparently... What did she... What did the magic voice say? All the realms of the lords of Cinder converge. Now, the lord of Cinder was the title, not the name, but the title, of the final boss of Dark Souls 1. Uh, the lords of Cinder didn't make much of an appearance ooh, in Dark Souls 2, but, you know, it's apparently a title given to all those who, oh shit, missed that jump, uh, but it's apparently a title given to all of those uh, poor, unfortunate, undead souls who complete the quests in these games and then fall to ruin as everything oof, falls to ruin eventually in this you know, in these universes as you can tell we are about a couple thousand years after an apocalyptic event and ah, little red bars at the bottom of our weapons indicating durability I see okay Yes! Titanite Shard! Double yes. Not gonna use that for a good long while. And fall damage. Not too bad. Okay. Yes. See? Best part. Yeah, worst parts about Dark Souls 2 were all the little things that might intentionally fuck up somebody who'd just gotten used to Dark Souls 1. Oh, hi. You got a shield, huh? And a spear. Gotta watch that, though. Firebomb. Yay. So if I'd picked the black firebombs as my starting gift, I'd have felt real dumb right about now. Okay, is that it? Is that all for this path? Just a drop off into the swirly white void from here. Looks like. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Better view of the castle. That is quite the castle. Do I, if I kill the giant crystal thing, can I get into? Ooh. The castle? Probably not, but it looks like we're going to be able to get all up in there eventually. I keep expecting, yeah, because these guys are punks, I keep expecting some big badass boss monster like this. Yeah, this is a, uh-huh, this is a boss fight if I've ever seen one. Hey, buddy, you, uh, yeah, you got wrecked, okay, that's great. Um... Do I have to fight you? Do I have to fight you right now? I've got, like, nothing. 300 souls to my name. That's nothing. Actually, I don't know how much it takes to level up yet. So, that might be something that I want to hold on to. What even are you, dude? Huh. Well, you got a quite the battle axe there. So, I'm going to leave you be. Check out the edges of this arena first. Let's see if there's any hidden shit around here. Might explain how far forward in time we've come. And what's up with... Yeah, door. I saw it. And what's up with... The plot in the meantime. I mean, whatever happened to... Not that I really cared, but whatever happened to the land of Drang Laic and our previous incarnation from Dark Souls 2. Who knows? 
Can we... Can we... No. Oh, shit. Ah, shit on shingles. Um, hello? Remove sword. Yeah, that's gonna help, I'm sure. Oh, I see. Somebody stuck you through. But what is all of that sprouting out of your back? I see something like that sprout and oh and feeding into your neck too. I see something like that feeding into people's necks. I'm like motherfucking puppet masters. Oh, can't go through the door. So it's either this guy or the giant crystal monster back there. Well, not to do it. Let's go for it. Ah, uh, shit. Hi. Wow. Okie dokie. That was dumb. Udix. Gunder. Two swings, huh? Okay. I can, I'll see your two swings and hit you with two more. Yeah, nothing. Huh? Nothing? Wow. Doing nothing. Wow. Hello, it dicks. Oh, the music, though. Wow! Oh, my word. Oh, my damn. Whoa, fuck me. Barely see. Jesus, Idrix. What did I say about Puppet Masters? Who staggered him? Gotcha! Down you go! Udex! Air of fire destroyed. Ember restored? What does that mean? Oh, that's what that means. And we got a coiled sword. Let's light this motherfucker up. Oh, wow. Ember restored. What is that? Oh, it means we're covered in... We're covered in fire now. We are an ember, I see. Yes. Only embers remain, the back of the box said. Um, but let's... Before we make any assumptions, let's see what... Deserted corpse. Unknown traveler. Is to require let the fire keep blah 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 blah. Okay, and there's the dark sign. Dark sign returns its bearer. The last bonfire rested at, uh, or the bonfire at Firelink Shrine, but at the cost of all the souls. Carries the dark sign are reborn after death and eventually lose their minds, turning hollow. And so it is. They are driven from their homelands. Titanite shards only reinforced plus three now. That's good to know. Coiled sword. Sword missing. From the Shrine Bonfire, cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the Shrine Bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. Hey, this sword is only bequeathed to Chosen Ash, as judged by the Udex, I, Udex, who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. Udex, whatever that means. Did we get a soul from Udex Gundar? No, interestingly enough, we just got his the sword that was sticking in his chest. Very interesting. Okay. What's that? Covenant. Okay. And rings, bolts, pyromancers, trousers, garb. How many ring slots do we have? Ah, four. Still. Good. Okay. 
cannot be equipped as a weapon. Nope, it's not even there. And does our ooh, does our durability restore automatically? Or do we have to blacksmith this shit? Let's find out. Still can't level up here, but that's fine. Are we gonna have to find some Oh, does restore automatically. Good. Are we gonna have to find some monotone woman? I'm gonna say the same three phrases every time we want to level ourselves up. Now we can open the door. Of course, if she has the right voice, I won't be complaining that much. Ooh. The way out is through. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, like we're gonna use that ever. Yes. Yeah, I know. Udex Gundar. Oh, well, that was <laughs> quite the tutorial, boss. Not exactly... Um, well, it didn't start out looking like a vanguard. I was expecting a vanguard. And he looked just like a statue with a sword in his chest. But when that puppet master popped out of him, I was like, oh shit, I do it. I love it, though. That's the kind of thing I go to these games for. Lull you into a false sense of security, then smack you in the ass. Oh, hi. Dogs. Already. Skeleton dogs. Ooh, that hit detection, though. Did you see that? Wow. And no souls? What? Are you actually dead? You're ragdolling. I'm gonna say yes. I just want to see Ember. What the fuck is an Ember? Gain Strength of Flame, boosting HP until death. No unkindled can ever truly claim the embers that burn within a champion's bosom. Which is precisely what makes their yearning for warmth so keen. Gain the Strength of Flame and increase max HP until death. With the strength of fire, the summoning signs of unkindled become visible. The seekers of embers can be summoned to join in cooperation. But beware, the embers may also attract invaders. I see. So it's no longer human and hollowed. It is, yeah, and it's not humanity or human effigies. They're embers. And I imagine if we die, our ember will go out. And we'll no longer be able to see the signs of our fellow players. Not that there's many. As you can see, not a lot of people online yet, and the few that are seem to be dying horribly. But that's part of why we're doing this, you guys. No more waiting until... No bullshit waiting until October for us. This time. Hello? Good night. This time we're jumping on the bandwagon right out of the gate. And nothing? Okay. And we are going to proceed through this sucker. Blind as bats. But twice as pretty. Hello. Sorry. Jump attack. Ooh, and we need to upgrade this Estus Flask already. It does not fully restore you. Okay, so that was just a... Darn it. Side path back to where we were. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you there. All oh, these ledges make me nervous. Hey, our first homeward bone. That's good. Okay. Nice, decent tutorial area. Good continuity between the last game and this one. Visually and thematically. 
Already it's teaching us to not go by appearances, to expect the unexpected, and all sorts of other good old-fashioned cliches that are nevertheless true for how often they get repeated at you. Oh god, and what's all this thing? I don't want to go in there yet. God knows what could be in there. God. God in here, boy. I'll take the message. Yes. This is a world where the gods are long dead. I know, because I killed some of them. Whoa! Hello. Ah. Still gotta be standing neutral to do it. Yes. To do that. Oh, and look at all the blood they're spilling. Knew there was more up here. The hell? All these bloodstains. God, people are dying hard. Let's let's go for the path that isn't strewn with blood and should be depopulated, since that's where those two came from. Another ember. Good. They are tricking us out. I suppose that is a little clearer. The nomenclature, rather. A little clearer than humanity. Because, after all, what the fuck is humanity? Well, that's part of what the game asks, silly. It's a philosophical question you're meant to ponder after you stop playing. Yeah, well, it's all well and good. But, most people, yeah, they don't ponder shit. Raised a generation of self-identified consumers. They like to have all their needs catered to. Have all products fulfill their expectations to the letter. They like to have characters in movies just blatantly state the theme outright. Oh, hello. Dude. Nice sword. Jesus. Wow. Ambushed by a katana. <laughs> Katana wielding hollow is our first death. Well, that's ignominious. At least we can see what the loading times are like now. <laughs> As first episodes go, this has been okay. So far. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so we are going to fight our way. Well, we don't have to fight our way all the way back up there. We just have to... Yeah, go this way. And then this way. Oh, wait. No, not this way. Those two motherfuckers are going to wake up and ambush us. Not if we kill them first. Hello. Oh, you got a crossbow. I killed you before I could find that out last time. Okay. Yeah. Full power. And let's light this motherfucker up. Well, first, let's do that. Oh, nothing. Okay, fine. Ooh, he's tough. And we're dead. Wow. Okay, he's mega tough. Uh, he's for later, I'm guessing. Given how we did absolutely jack shit to him. Uh, I'm gonna just... Yeah, let's just save that guy uh, for a bit. When we come back and deal with the giant uh, crystal golem thing... Centipede demon monster that was back there. Um, but yes, for right now, how long have we been going? Yeah, we've been going that long. And I just decided to cut the character creation bit out of this. So, uh, yeah, when we return, which will be very soon for me, 
Uh, not sure how soon it'll be for you. I'm trying to... I'm considering doing this, like, twice a week. Um, just... Or maybe three times. I'm not sure. Uh, just don't want to completely spam your feeds with Dark Souls 3 playthroughs, since probably quite a lot of that going on already. And for some of you, it's been going on for, like, the last three or weeks or so since this game released in Asia. Um, but... Regardless, yes, next time we will proceed through and hopefully out of the Cemetery of Ash. And I you know, hope you will, yes, we'll proceed on into the land of Lothric. It's like a nice inviting place, kind of like the Himalayas. Uh, so, with that, I thank you all for joining me. As usual, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. No, not that one. This one, yes. When we play more Dark Souls 3. Bow to the people, Carrie. Yeah. And we'll be back.